Hey friends, Miss Minutelli here. So today I'm going to read you a book called Skunk Spring Surprise. And the reason that I picked this book is because we just had our first day of spring a couple days ago. So I thought this would be the perfect book to read. So this book is called Skunk's Spring Surprise by Lisa Newman and Valerie Gorvervich. And while I'm reading, I really want you, my first graders, to pay close attention to those rhyming words because there's tons of rhyming words in this book. So, Skunk's Spring Surprise. The very day that winter ends, Skunk wakes up from dreaming of her friends. She blinks her eyes and shakes her head, she then jumps right up and makes her bed. Hooray, my winter nap is done. It's time for me to have some fun. Skunk yawns and stretches, twists and bends, then scurries off to find her friends. Good morning, turtle, calls out Skunk. Where are you, mole? Hello, chipmunk. Skunk listens hard and smells the air, but does not find them anywhere. Where are my friends? Where can they be? Have all of them forgotten me? Perhaps they hate the way I smell. Skunk stamps her feet and starts to yell. But no one hears Skunk rants and rave. Not even Bear inside his cave. Can you spot Bear hiding there? Skunk is thirsty, sad, and hot. A drink, she says, would hit the spot. She sighs and gives herself a shake, then slowly trudges to the lake. Uh-oh, who's going to be there? Skunk's friends are waiting on the sand to welcome Skunk as they had planned. Bun honey Bunny hops up. Oh, dear, I thought by now Skunk would be here. She always wakes and takes a drink. Fox sniffs and said, that's her, I think. Hush, says Turtle with a wink. Don't scare her off or she'll make a stink. Skunk, squeals Mole. How do you do? We've got a big surprise for you. For months, we planned a talent show. Ready or not, Skunk, here we go. Fox shows Skunk's frog's favorite joke. Frog laughs so hard he starts to croak. Turtle strikes a skunk-like pose, then dances lightly on his toes. Chipmunk tosses nuts and sticks and teaches Skunk some juggling tricks. Mole dances like an acrobat while Crow flips Bunny from a hat. Snake and Ladybug hum a note, then sing a song for Skunk they wrote. Ant swings Beetle by the knees, then lands in front of Skunk with ease. The end, says Beetle, Ant, and Crow. We hope that you enjoyed the show. That's not the end. Skunk starts to rise. I also have a spring surprise. Skunk leads up to take the stage. She reads the words upon her page. When I wake from my winter sleep, I love to hear the robins peep. I love to swell, smell the sweet spring breeze. I love to see the budding trees. When I wake from my winter's rest, I'll tell you what I love the best. To see my friends down by the lake makes me so glad to be awake. Skunk's friends all clap and take and make a fuss. We love the poem that you wrote for us. And we love you, her friends all sing. They hug and kiss her. Happy spring. The end. So the other reason besides this being a spring book that I love so much 
is that it's also a book about me missing your friends a little bit. But at the end of the day, we're all going to be together again and maybe even having a secret talent show. All right. Bye, friends.